Hello there everybody, I'm Brix here, and yeah, I know it's been a while, and my videos are like, tending to have gaps now, but though, I've just uh, been really busy with the news and all, and you know, working on my Patreon and everything like that, though I'm here with another video talking about the beauty of LEGO clearances and sales, so yeah, this is Ray Head retailed for uh, $10 in the US originally, and then, you know, obviously I got it for 5 so, uh, what I do want to talk about though, is for people who really really like to plan out their money like me um this video could help them so i'm going to talk about just the general um sales that sets get so brickheads let's talk about brickheads since we have those brickheads usually go for uh ten dollars that is their recommended retail price though um here are the the number one website i'd use for sales is amazon.com and then the number one and, well, I got two stores that I would use, like actual physical stores, and that is Walmart and Target. So anyway, uh, Brickheads usually go for $7, $3 off, and then I'm just moving out of the studio here. Sorry about that. I don't know why. There we go. It's back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so Brickheads usually go for around 7 bucks. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about sales again. So, um, they don't really carry $200 sets in stores like that, though on Amazon, you know, you'd find a $200 set for like $180 and, uh, such, though usually, uh, one, uh, $200 upsets don't go on sale. Now, $20 sets like Yoda's Jedi Starfighter and Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, uh, you can tend to find if they really don't sell well for like, thirteen dollars though normally you'd find them for like sixteen dollars right and then um you got micro fighters and small stuff battle packs that are now fifteen dollars instead of twelve tend to go for twelve dollars and then micro fighters uh usually go for eight dollars instead of ten though the two pack micro fighters that should be twenty dollars uh go for thirteen dollars thirty dollar sets like the hulkbuster go for um $23, so yeah, that's pretty great. Now, Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack is a $40 set, this one right here, and it goes for $32 on sale. Uh, Lego, okay, Lego stores and Lego.com barely ever have sales, and if they do have a sale, it won't be at a physical Lego store, it will be on Lego.com, like they mainly do promotions, like spend this much and get this for free, but anyway, um, the way you can tell if a set sold bad is if it's on sale on Lego.com. Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack instead of 40 on Lego.com is 32. And then the Resistance Bomber instead of 110 is 98. So yeah, sets that sell very bad go on sale on Lego.com. That's how you can tell. Anyway, sets like the Sanctum Sanctorum for $100 could go uh, for $80 sometimes. Though I'd expect it in the 90-ish range. And then $50 sets I'd see for $43. Um, $20 sets uh, like 16 bucks as I think I mentioned before. And then I've mentioned fifty dollar sets, and then hundred dollar sets. Yeah, usually get like eighty bucks, maybe. Uh, no, not eighty. Sorry, eighty four dollars, but maybe ninety. So yeah, you can see um that stuff add up pretty quickly actually. But you know, um, if there's a really overpriced set like the Resistance Bomber, like at uh, Walmart's and Targets when they did have them, uh, I did, I barely see them anymore but when they did have the resistance bombers you know that thing is a hundred and ten dollar set and now they had it for like what eighty dollars and then uh like they put it in the price it should be but uh yeah that's just what i wanted to share with you and you can see like here's what i'm trying to get at should you go for lego stores or sales well it depends because like the avengers infinity war uh promotion that's coming out the bricktober one is so great so without sale i'm buying from lego to get the bricktober pack but then you know when there's no sale i get from like uh target and walmart to get to lower prices so yeah it depends on how good the promotion is but that's it for this video i hope you liked it and please subscribe leave a comment down below and keep following me on this channel because i'm probably gonna do a lot more videos soon and please follow me on patreon and you know if you support me on patreon and pay me like a buck for a month you get to vote on videos and other cool perks like that but that's it for this video bye